Hi guys, I'm Yang, and right now I'm in Hong Kong International Airport, ready to travel to my next destination. Before I go on board the plane, I have this hottest product off the shelf today. This is GoPro Hero 7 Black. I'll open with you guys. This is so exciting, you know, I've never owned a GoPro. So this is the main device that you get from the box. Beautiful, beautiful little device with turtle. I'm so looking forward to going on a diving trip with this thing. In the box, very quickly, the GoPro Plus explanation, GoPro sticker, so manual, USB Type-C cable, mount for action, and a battery. I'm gonna try out and see whether this device can be a perfect vlogging device. Let's find out in a brand new destination. Right now, I've arrived in Seoul. And from now on, I'll only be using GoPro 7 to take this video, except the comparison. So stay with me. Can we talk? Hey, you. And today, I'm really lucky, and you guys are really lucky as well. It's probably one of the most beautiful days that I've ever seen in Seoul. So today my question is what Mr. Woodman has raised. You can absolutely vlog with this thing, man. You know, we are carrying all this like heavy stuff to vlog. He's suggesting that GoPro 7 is probably enough of a device as a vlogging tool. So today, let me find out. First, my test will be the sound test. Right now, I'm talking in GoPro 7. So I'm actually going around. So I'm not sure what kind of sound you're getting. I'm standing right by the road and also on the bridge. And here is probably a little quieter. So is the microphone something that we can use for vlogging? So hey guys, right now I'm on Note 8 microphone. Oh, can you guys can you guys actually hear me alright? Let me go stand sort of near the bridge. And I'm sure you guys are actually hearing quite a lot of sound from the car. Hi guys, right now I'm using the external microphone that's stuck to my Canon, Canon camera because microphone is the most important thing when it comes to vlogging good sound is probably better than good resolution video and now this is the sound of Canon M50 internal microphone inside this little mirrorless camera hey, you. I saw you from the distance Hey you, can we talk? So now we've come to the south gate of the city. Seoul city used to be used to have actually boundary here, but of course Seoul has grown much bigger than what it used to be. Guess what I'm gonna do? It's the time wrap time. Today, GoPro is all about action. So I got to take some Korean martial arts performance. I zoomed it in, but the result is not that amazing. I'm using one meter selfie stick, and you get this amazing vibe of capturing the whole environment as if you are actually having camera quite high up. But I've been vlogging for about four hours now. The battery that's left is about 20% right now. So definitely I need one more battery or charge it in between my vlogging. So now I've arrived at Namsan Seoul Tower and today is a gorgeous day, can you see? I think this deserves 4K video, so let me switch it into 4K movie. So these guys are so American. 
the video at the flag. an exciting day for me because it was actually packed with a lot of features that I haven't encountered before such as the time lapse and etc and even the nice shot we got some decent shots so I actually think Mr. Nick from GoPro is quite right like it is something that we can vlog with for the whole day without having like other gear such as big cameras on but is it gonna actually replace my camera I would say no because mirrorless camera that I do have M50 that I'll actually do a review on very soon has like changeable lens function and it can for example focus on my face right now but it is definitely something that I will use for entire day if I go for some action activities and so on such as diving etc if you guys like this video then please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe for my channel because I'll be coming back with more reviews and tips on how to best use GoPro 7 see you